Okay, I'm going to do a cross seam in Texture Plus now. And the tools I'm going to need are the same as I did uh, doing the length seam. My roll finder and my top cutter. Okay, and I'm going to find the middle of a pattern here, or half a pattern, half a pattern here, so when they go together it makes a full one. Okay, I'm going to find one right here. There we go. All right, now I'm going to take my roll finder, my top cutter, and cut it. So now I'm a half a pattern, so now I've got to locate this half a pattern, which would be right, right here. So now this matches up here. I've got my pattern, half a pattern, a half a pattern, and it continues there. So next thing is to take the hot mount glue and seal the edge. That one's sealed. I'll seal this edge. That's sealed. And I put my seaming board underneath. Take my tape. Put it under. These go flush here, and I'm just going to secure the ends here, that's flush. All right. Okay, nice thing about using the picks and the seaming board, it allows you to secure the end, and if you have to move it, everything's still into place. You can move it back. is complete. Your diagonals should match up both ways and uh, let it cool and it's your crossing.
Now this is a pretty easy one to do cross seam. You could use a straight edge on this one and a square. Uh, you could use the overhang straight edge, but since it does carry a roll, the best one is with the roll cutter. And I always let your, keep your weight on until your seam is cool. Otherwise, if you take it off, it's going to peak on you a bit. It doesn't take that long to cool down. And that is your, your cross seam for that. So cross seams are pretty basic in this material.